Cyber blackmail is a crime on the FBI's radar, and it should be on yours as well. Tonight, our 11 Investigates team has a case involving a high-profile baseball player in the Cleveland Guardians organization who has become a victim of cyber extortionists. Lead investigator Brian Duggar has the story and how we can better protect ourselves against these savvy criminals. Brian? Yeah, Gavin Williams is the top pitching prospect for the Guardian. Able to throw his fastball 100 miles per hour to go along with the vicious slider and nasty curveball. But earlier this month, Williams, the starting pitcher at AA Akron, fell victim to a blackmailer, a cyber blackmailer. According to a police report obtained by 11 investigates, Williams told police that private conversations were taken from his Snapchat account. The hacker texted him on August 3rd to demand payment, threatening to release those conversations if Williams did not comply. After he paid $1,000, the hacker demanded more money. Here's the wind and the pitch. On August 5th, a member of the Guardians organization reported the blackmail to Akron police. We have a player that's currently assigned to our team in Akron, Ohio, that's uh, currently experiencing like electronic blackmail. Um, and we were advised kind of by our NLB security to uh, reach out to the local authorities um, and see if we could possibly try to get someone on the case. Now, Williams is far from alone in this issue. Cyber blackmail and cyber romance schemes are a major focus of the FBI. According to the Cleveland office, the FBI has seen a huge increase in the number of cases, particularly when it comes to children and teens. In 2021, extortion losses in the U.S. totaled $60.8 million. Fraud and romance scams? nine hundred fifty six million dollars most of the people behind this are overseas in the eastern Bloc, romania and russia and and that it, it's a full-time job for them over there Cybersecurity consultant tim dimoff agrees that extortion is a major issue they know how to psychologically touch people especially in the united states where they do care about their reputation they they don't want their name out there on social media. Scam artists capitalize on two scenarios, Demoff says, pretending to be someone they are not and simply taking over a computer. If they can hack into their computers and they can key log or track everything that they're saying and just waiting for the right opportunity when they say and show or send photos that are inappropriate. The FBI offers the following suggestions when meeting someone online. Be careful what you post and make public online. Research the person's photo and profile using online searches to see if the image, name, or details have been used elsewhere. Go slowly and ask lots of questions. Beware if the individual seems too perfect. Remember everything you say on social media is never deleted totally, can be used against you at some future time. So anything you're saying or showing uh, can come back to haunt you. Now the FBI provided the following statement, the number one step people can take if they feel they or someone they know is being targeted is to report it to the FBI. It may constitute a federal crime and your identity will be protected when reporting. Now, the FBI can be reached at 1-800-CALL-FBI. That's 1-800-CALL-FBI. The, Guardian, the Guardians told us we're aware of the situation, but it would not be appropriate for us to comment on this private legal matter. Brian, many of us get those emails saying that our account has been hacked and that we need to immediately click on this link to unlock it. So is fear the big reason that these hackers are so successful? Yeah, absolutely. It's usually something so dramatic that people instinctively want to react. Like your bank account's been hacked or maybe your Amazon account, Facebook. Then you click on that link and they gain control of your computer. And once that happens, you're at their mercy. And any private conversation you have can be used against you in the future, even, even photos. All right, Brian Duggar reporting live for us tonight with this 11 Investigates tip. Thank you so much.